Hi, the internet. Welcome to the What Else Show. Uh, today we've got a restaurant review. We've got a restaurant review of Andy's Fish House in... Snohomish. 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 <laughs> yes. And after that, we've got uh, something else. So... Uh, All right. Yeah. Keep watching. <laughs> Hello, internet. It's the What Else Show coming to you from Andy's Fish House. So we are going to go in and try it for the first time and report back. Okay, let's start off with the outside of the restaurant. The exterior, very nice. Yeah. The surrounding area, very nice. Yeah, it's got a lot of character on the outside of the restaurant. Yes. This is a little bit of the interior. It's actually a very small restaurant uh, with seating inside. But where the restaurant really opens up is in the outside. Yes. The... The outdoor seating area is quite extensive. Yeah. 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 Small indoor seating area, extensive outdoor yes. seating area. I think they really are into people sitting outside. I believe that's true. Yes. This is a three-piece fish and chips. Mm-hmm. Chipino. And this is <laughs> a... Um, Shrimp Poor boy. Shrimp oh. po' boy. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, let's talk about right now how we did not get pictures of... Um, the receipt. Shrimp cocktail. Oh. We all got... Oh. I got a shrimp cocktail. You, a shrimp cocktail. you got a shrimp salad. Yes. Um, yes. And it was all delicious. Um, I got a shrimp salad and half an avocado. And I got a shrimp cocktail, which was a shrimp cocktail. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. But my shrimp salad and half an avocado, that's not really very common in like a restaurant. No, I've never seen it before. Yeah, I've never seen it before, um, but it was delicious. Okay, we talked about the exterior. Let's go ahead and talk about the interior. Uh, the interior, it was uh, interesting because they have those giant doors. They have a giant door on each side of the like... Bay doors, you'd call them. Yes. Garage doors? They're more like garage doors. Yeah. They're huge doors. And they opened up both doors. And so it was like we were sitting outside. Kind of. We were sitting outside-ish. Yes, we were sitting outside-ish. We, we were sitting far too outside for my taste. I don't really like eating outside either. I'm mm -hmm. not 100% sure what people get out of it. I like a picnic. That's fine. Right. But I don't right. really like eating outdoors, if that makes sense any sense at all <laughs> well it makes sense to me okay because we share that same sensibility about like well if i wanted to eat outside i would have just gone on a picnic kind of a yeah so and there was that. a lot of bugs flying around there and my were bugs flying the napkins around. were flying off the tables it was too windy i think for them to have both doors open maybe it was creating way too much wind where we were trying to sit and eat and my napkins kept falling on the floor it's very uh <laughs> busy a lot of commotion Yes. Inside the restaurant. It's um, bustling. Bustling. I would say. Sure. Yes. Sure. Yes. It's bustling. Also, it's in a very busy area. It's in a um, it's in Snohomish, Washington, which is kind of a more touristy. Yeah. You know, area. I feel like the restaurant, the interior itself is kind of like an experience, but uh, we can get into that later. OK. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the food. The food. I thought the food was great. You thought the food was great? You yes. got I got Chiapino. Which you're a big fan of? Yes. And it was delicious. Because it reminds me of like eating a fish or, you know, some kind of pasta. And there's no pasta in it, so I, I can eat it. And it's, sure. It was really good. Sure. I got a shrimp cocktail, which was fine. It was a shrimp cocktail. And I got um, a three-piece uh, fish and chips. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I enjoyed it. It was good. Um, it wasn't great. Um, I mean, I guess it was a little above average is what above I would average. say. It yeah. looked 
fantastic. Yeah. All right. Let's talk prices. Um, kind of on the expensive side. I do think it's on the expensive side. Yes, but again, you're kind of getting that downtown Snohomish. That's what you're paying for. Touristy is, it's a, feel. It's a tourist trap. <laughs> it's not a trap. It's a tourist <laughs> the, trap. The food was really good, though. The food was good. Yeah. But you're, you are paying a little bit of a premium. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially since it was, you know... We were practically sitting outside, and that's not really our bag. <laughs> I think that that is some people's bag, though. It is. I think it that's is. a lot of people's bag, it is. especially on a nice day in the Pacific Northwest. Yes, it is. Yes. And that's fine. How was the service? Uh, service was good. I thought the service was really good also. Yeah. 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 I thought the service was good. Um, yeah. I felt like... No w- complaints about the we service. We were difficult... Patrons this time because we kind of forgot some stuff. Yes, and yes, messed some orders up. Oh, the oyster shooters! You didn't mention the oyster shooters. Oh yeah, I also had some oyster shooters. Yes, which I did not have. Which you did not have because you do not like. I'm not. But a fan. I forgot to order those first, so I asked, "Hey, can we get a couple?" Yes. And then um, you got your food, and you forgot to ask for uh, dressing on the side. Yes. So we had to uh, order another one. Yes, and I didn't send it back. I just no. Oh, yeah, I make it think like, I forgot to wear a dressing on the side. Send this back. I'm not eating it. So Someone else at our table ate. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ate Eat mine. your leftovers. <laughs> uh, what else do you want to talk about? We talked about the food. We talked about the prices. We talked about the service. We talked about um, the... Overall atmosphere. Overall we, atmosphere. We kind of touched sure. on that already. Um, I would say nice place to go eat. Sure. Um, I would go back. Okay. Would you go back? Uh, yeah, I'd go back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, do you want to rate it? Yes. Okay, you go. Uh, I give it three out of five. Um, closer to like maybe the, the higher end of the three scale. So very, very high three, but not quite a four. I can't quite give it a four. Um, but... A three with a recommendation. A three with an absolute recommendation. The food was really good, especially the Chiopino. Um, yeah, it was it was good. I give it a three with a couple of caveats. Um, if you like eating outdoors, this oh, is this, this is, is your place. Yes. <laughs> I think this is places designed to be open yes. on a nice day. Very eat airy. outside. Mm-hmm. Um, if you like a kind of a Pacific Northwest kind of Seattle kind of scene, mm-hmm. I feel like vibe. that's kind yeah. of a vibe. I feel yeah. like it, it's hitting hitting those all in the head there. I, I agree. If you want a Seattle dining experience without having to go to Seattle. Yeah, I, I'll agree with that. Um, they only serve beer and wine. So uh, yes, that, that was kinda, kind of a bummer. That kind of gives me a negative mark. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else I thought about it. Oh, you know what? They missed an opportunity. Why? Because it's called Andy's Fish House and not Captain Andy's Fish House, which I think, <laughs> come on. I mean, it doesn't give it any points <laughs> either way, but <laughs> Captain Andy's Fish House. Uh, I f- <laughs> I like the name of the restaurant, so I disagree. Someone I think, like you probably named it. No, I feel like if it had been called Captain Andy's, it would have given the... Too gimmicky? Uh, yeah. Opposed to the giant shark that's hung out on, on the front door? I forgot about the giant shark. There's mm-hmm. a giant shark. There's two giant sharks. Yeah. There's one that's like standing like a statue, and then there's one that's hanging above the door. Yeah. Yes. Uh, no, I don't like... Captain Andy's, bro. Captain, No. <laughs> Just no. Uh, and then everything else I don't like about it is just things I do not like about Snohomish is the cost to the the parking. Oh, yeah. Parking was a pain. Um, and that's about it. Yeah. But we were kind of asking for it because it was a nice day and you can't really go to downtown Snohomish when it's a nice day. Because right. Because it is people are wall-to-wall people. Antiquing or whatever they do in Snohomish. Right. Right. Looking at the water. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I never even rated it. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I give it a, I also give it a three star. I give it a high, oh, I did rate it. I said a three with, a, with the caveat. With caveat. Then I gave it yes, the caveat. Yes, you did. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Okay. We're just forgetful. Yeah. Yes. For seconds ago, we're forgetful. <laughs> okay. Do you have anything else to say about um, Captain Andy's Fish House? 
It's just Andy's Fish House. It's just Andy's Fish House. And I recommend it if you enjoy that type of outdoor by the water dining experience. Um, it was yeah, good. I'll, I'll give it a, a light recommendation if you're in the area down there and you mm-hmm. have to eat. <laughs> it's not the worst Well, you, you got to go. eat somewhere. Yeah. So. Okay. That's it. That's it for the... Okay. That's it for the review. That's great. All right. Let's do a little bit of word association. All right. Oh, okay. So we ate at Captain Andy's Fish House. Andy's Fish House. We ate at Andy's Fish House. Andy's Fish House. <laughs> People are going to be Googling Captain Andy's Fish House and they're not going to be able to find it. We ate it. Andrew's Fish House. <laughs> Andrew's Fish House. Right? Right. Nautical themed. Nautical. The ocean. Right? Yes. Uh, the Little Mermaid. Yes. Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Yes. All right. Disney villains. Disney villains. Yes. That's Disney what we're talking villains. about. Yes. Disney talking, villains. We're talking about our top three top Disney three villains. Disney villains. We could go top five, but we're not going to. Lazy. This one. <laughs> Anyways. <gasps> top three I Disney villains. If we have any crossover, that's it. We have crossover. We can have crossover. That's why we talk about it. We'll talk about what we like about that villain. Yes. And, and why it's our top three three yes Disney and villains. we didn't really have any rules no really. rules no rules no rules doesn't that didn't have to be a cartoon didn't have to be a real person didn't like no no rules no rules we like no rules i don't because i know we you're actually gonna, really like rules. <laughs> i know you're gonna pick something that is against the rules even though they're never written <laughs> i'm gonna let you go first because i know i'm gonna be mad at your first pick go ahead <laughs> no particular order um Hades from Hercules. From Hercules, you know what? I always pick. I almost pick that one. Yes, because he's like the devil. So yes, that's a pretty and um, decisive. You know, James Woods. James Woods and, is great. I think he's like uh, big he's on great. hating things on Twitter. Like, uh, oh, is he really st- staunch Republican type? That's funny. Yeah, I hates the libs is what <laughs> I think. Uh, okay, so yeah, I just really. I thought he was a really fun villain, and I liked that he had fire for hair. Fire for hair is great. And at one point in the movie, he goes, oh, did my hair go out? And I just lo- I've just, i always loved that line. Sure. I just love that line in Hercules. So. No, I think that's a, I think that's a great uh, first pick. I don't really remember Hercules as one of my favorite movies, but um, also another great villain from Hercules is that uh, Hydra with all the, all the heads. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, That's but all. <laughs> but I I I chose Hades because the the personality was really there and he was just so right. funny when he was on and screen. And he was the, yeah. the devil. Yes. Our king of the underworld. He's king remember. of the underworld. Yeah. So it was just it was yeah, he's great. Yeah. Hades is great from the movie the animated movie Hercules. Uh, my first pick is Sheer Khan from the Jungle Book. Ooh, good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Right, because he doesn't doesn't like man. Yes. Right. Yes. Just willing to kill a little a little boy. <laughs> kill the man cub. Yeah. Because <laughs> I mean that's these are villains. It's compelling. Also, super evil, trying to kill a little boy. Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that is a good one. You have. Uh, also, I think he was in Tailspin. He was. <laughs> because all the characters were He in there. was like the bad business executive Yeah, he was the bad Tailspin. businessman. Yeah. He was the bad corporate working stiff in Tailspin. It was really funny. Yeah. yeah. So, great choice. Yeah. So, he's like a bad guy twice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Shere Khan. Yeah. Same, same character. Yep. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> it was, yeah, that's a great choice. Um, okay, so my second one, I actually had to Google the name of this villain because I absolutely loved him in the movie, but I couldn't think of what his name was because they didn't really refer to him very much. Well, that'll be great and for the audience and they'll be able to uh, and refer he didn't, to them. Yeah, and he didn't really like introduce himself on screen. Um, Percival McLeach from The Rescuers Down Under. What? <laughs> The Rescuers Down oh. Under. You're familiar with the film. I'm familiar with Phenomenal the film. Down Under. So um, what I liked about Percival McLeach is throughout the movie, he kind of, um, he like sings little songs throughout the movie. He like sings to himself, hums to himself. And there's a part in the movie where um, he goes, he, somebody's threatening to call the ranger on him. And he goes, oh no, not the ranger. And it was I just, I do remember that part. It's really funny. 
and he's just a really endearing villain and I just The Rescuers Down Under is a phenomenal film anyway so you know what the great thing great. about this pick is is that nobody else has reference to it nobody knows what you're talking about The and Rescuers Down it's Under it's never been considered a great villain <laughs> Throughout, Never. throughout the entire history. I know, history. I know. So The Rescuers is, is a good movie, but then when The Rescuers Down Under came out, it was it was animated in a different style, and the scene there were a lot more um, aerial, kind of these like breathtaking scenes because it takes place in Australia, and so they have these really gorgeously animated scenes of the canyons. Are and you still talking about the villain? And um, no, I'm just kind of talking about the movie oh, in case people don't kind of got lost in what we were doing. <laughs> OK, that's so fine. Percival McLeach, the villain from The Rescuers Down Under. Very endearing villain. I'm getting mad at you for what you did, but I'm going to do the same thing. In this one. <laughs> do it. Because, do it. <laughs> because I'm going for the Horned King. I knew that that was going to be one of your picks from the Black Cauldron. Nobody's ever seen the Black Cauldron. I've I've seen the Black Cauldron, and the only reason I'm I, I think don't, we're the only two who've ever watched. I do not remember him as a villain. I just remember aesthetically, he looks very villain. He's like <laughs> a skull. He's wearing a robe. I think he's got like a fur cape, horns. That's why he's the Horned King. Yes. Yeah. He looks really cool. Looks menacing. Yes. I think he probably looks the most villainy out of all the Disney villains. Mm -hmm. So that's why that's why he gets a pick, purely on looks. Nice. There's nothing else to say about it. I don't remember the movie. <laughs> I don't think it's very good. <laughs> so, yeah, I knew th that he was going to be in your list somewhere because I know that that is one of your all-time favorite favorite characters. Yeah. yeah. It's a real yeah. Skeletor. <laughs> yes. um, okay, so mine, um, my last one, because pirates, Captain Hook. Captain Hook! Yes. I almost picked Captain Hook. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yes, Captain Hook great and there's so many things that make captain hook a great villain from his wardrobe and his hair to the way he speaks Mustache. in the film yes his facial hair his hook obviously 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 um and he's a pirate and right. he's a, he's a captain. ship captain and yes and you know i don't think that peter pan is a particularly good movie don't really care for it that much but i will sit through peter pan to watch captain hook is because right? i like yes i i like what a jerk he is to Spe specifically i did not uh pick captain hook because he's not very menacing oh see he's i think he's very he's very menacing mm -hmm. and i feel like to a child he would be very you know yeah. kind of scary but see that's the problem with the peter pan film is that it really panders to a much younger audience so is they couldn't right? make him too scary but i feel like he's just edgy enough i mean i like to get him on my villain list. i like the character but i don't think he ever did anything in the movie to make himself really menacing or a force to be reckoned with or anything like that i think he's kind of just like a uppity kind of pirate captain a bit of a dandy if you will <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Hey, Rowie, call it like I see it. Pirate. He's a big, scary pirate. Um, he's great. So of, that's mine. A lot of ruffles. A lot of ruffles. Yes, but I love his wardrobe. He's great. Okay. Here's my number one. Yes. Gaston from Beauty and oh, the Beast. Oh, God. Gaston. Right? Yes. No one fights like Gaston, bro. No. No he's... one fights like Gaston. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm begging you. Please stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's a good one. Yeah, he's a such a jerk face. Yeah, he is uh, such a jerk. He's after after Belle. She doesn't want him. I mean, I feel like that is a very ha hashtag me too. I mean, touchy he's, subject to get in yes, right now. I do not think we should get into it. No, no, continue. More fun. <laughs> um, he rallies everybody around destroying the beast you know he's yes. got he's got control over that entire town and they like being in control by him yes he's got the charisma right he, he is he is the top dog he's charismatic yes yeah uh here's the thing i never understood about gaston right so he's after bell who's so so she's kind of a she's an odd one mm, right she's weird she's a little yeah. homely if you ask me uh, wow okay saying hey, we've all got our opinions <laughs> okay 
Okay. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't kill her to dress up a little bit, you know? Right. Wearing her... Take her hair down once in a wearing while. Wearing her maid clothes or whatever it is she's wearing, <laughs> right? right? Uh, but Gaston's got, like, these three other girls, maybe twins, I don't, triplets. Oh, yeah, they... <laughs> you wouldn't have three twins. Right. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Right, and they all look kind of similar. Right. And they're all after Gaston, right? Right. So why doesn't he get with the three? Just get yeah. With the three girls that are after him, instead of the one girl that does not like him. Right. And he keeps saying that Belle's the prettiest, and so that makes her the best. But those other three girls are very pretty. I mean, maybe it's the animation. They didn't have enough detail to put in it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe they have horrible personalities. <laughs> so bad, in fact, <laughs> that this dumb Gaston. <laughs> Can't even be with them because they're even dumber even than him. Dumber than him. Wow, yeah. that's hard to imagine. I don't know. Maybe that's it. I, this is just speculation on my part. That's all right. <laughs> I think it. Yeah. I think it's a solid theory. Yeah, the name of the movie could have been Gaston and the Triplets, but he, they missed their chance. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I think the Beast is a pretty big they part of the chance. movie, so <laughs> I don't know that would have worked out. I would have watched a movie called Gaston and the Triplets. How's that movie go? <laughs> we don't have time. We simply do not have time for you to make something up. We don't have the time. Okay, so this... <laughs> this list is done. This list is officially done? This list is so do you, done. Do you want to recap yours real quick and I'll recap mine? Sure. I took um, someone. I took Shere Khan. Shere Khan. I took... The Fra- Horse King. I took Shere Khan from uh, Jungle Book. Yes. The Horn King from The Black Cauldron. And Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. Yes. And I took Hades from Hercules. Percival. I had to look at the name again. Percival McLeach from The Rescuers Down Under. <laughs> Awful pick. And Captain Hook from Peter Pan. <laughs> Captain Hook's a good pick. Um, so that's it. That's so I'll it. probably put up a Twitter... A Twitter poll. I yes. know the last one got like four votes on it. Oh, I'll do it again. Vote, guys. Vote. Comment. I'll, I'll do it again. Mm-hmm. Twitter poll. Mm-hmm. Robert versus Bethany. I mean, go ahead and just <laughs> vote right now. We know who you're going to vote for. <laughs> Twitter uh, poll. So we'll, we'll do that. And um, yeah, that that's it. That's the list. That's the list. Okay, the internet. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and... Um, like, comment, subscribe to our videos, share. Go ahead and share our videos. Share, please. Yeah, just trying to get to a wider audience. I'm trying to get somebody to really send some hate mail to Bethany. <gasps> and that can only happen if you share. Have we gotten any emails? Do we have any emails? Uh, I don't really check the email that often. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we got oh, tons of emails. May- there could be a ton, ton of, of emails. hate mail in there for me already. So, oh. yeah. You know, yeah, it's something you know. to look forward to. Yeah, so like, subscribe, comment, um, give us recommendations if you would like us to visit one of your favorite restaurants or places. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and follow us at What Else Show on Twitter, and you can email us at the What Else Show at gmail dot com. Yes. That's it. That's it. Thank you, Internet. Thanks, Internet. Bye, Internet. <laughs> So go ahead and follow us on the what else? Nope.